So I've been gone for quite a while. Um, like three months. I just, I wanted a break from everything, from YouTube, from writing YouTube videos, just from all of it. I, I felt like I sort of wore myself out. I didn't feel like I had anything to offer, any interesting perspectives to offer. I wrote a lot and none of it ended up making it to a second draft. So I feel like after the Jumanji video, my content started to feel a little bit more desperate for sort of creating this interesting perspective. And while I'm very happy with how that Mission Impossible Fallout video turned out, I'm just, I don't know, I guess I just, I'm not as excited to make new videos as I was a little while ago. So I took a break and I'm back because I'm feeling good about it. And I just saw this new Halloween movie a couple days ago and I really wanted to talk about it. But before I talk about this movie, I wanna talk about the one that started it all. Of course, I'm talking about Halloween. This is a film directed by John Carpenter and it really sort of shook up the horror film scene at the time and no one had ever really seen a film like this before because it was at the time very unique it was sort of strange seeing nick castle sort of become michael myers in a way just through how convincing his physicality was and it wasn't just impactful from a cultural standpoint or i guess uh, filmmaking climate standpoint, but it was also impactful from just how damn good it was. At most points in this film, you could just pause it and there you go, you have a wallpaper. And despite the cinematography's little profile, it was so picturesque with those shots of Michael Myers dressed up as a ghost, Michael Myers behind the hedge, Michael Myers in a ditch. The atmosphere is one of the most memorable things about this film, if not the most memorable thing about this film because John Carpenter has such an excellent way of constructing this thick, impenetrable horror atmosphere for his films. And that's honestly what ties this whole experience together, the atmosphere. So despite this film being a borderline masterpiece, it's got some issues. The main issue I have with this film is how bogged down it gets in the first act with some unnecessary scenes, some unnecessary dialogue, that doesn't really serve any purpose later on in the film, doesn't really go anywhere. And also just general cheese. Uh, this film hasn't aged well in certain areas. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a flawed masterpiece, but it's gained such a reputation. So naturally this new Blumhouse movie had a lot to live up to. And let's, let's just talk about Blumhouse for a little bit. Blumhouse is, is, is such a gamble. It's such a gamble when it, of course, when it comes to my expectations for one of their films. While they have produced some of the worst, and I mean the absolute bottom of the smelly, disgusting barrel films, they've also made some masterpieces, uh, namely uh, this one. So yeah, naturally, uh, Blumhouse is kind of a gamble. They're either gonna land on this side or this side. With Halloween, uh, where did they land? Well, let me, let me tell you a thing or two, my guy. Halloween over here is, is, is like, is like on this side. It's not quite over here with like Whiplash, but it's like right here, like next to it. Meaning it's 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 pretty damn good. The soundtrack. Oh, <coughs> that was one thing that I forgot to mention from the original. The soundtrack was incredible in 1978, and it's incredible 40 years later. This is an incredibly well revitalized soundtrack, and it goes so well with the rest of the film. Also, I thought there were quite a few shots that were a very impressive and b just so beautifully reminiscent of the original film. And I don't mean like the motifs of Halloween. I, I mean like the actual carbon copy shots from the original 1978 film. And while some of them did feel a little bit ham-fisted and fan y there are quite a few of them that felt so masterfully recreated. My favorite being uh, Michael Myers' face showing up in the window. It was ugh, so excellently done. Also, Jamie Lee Curtis, guess what she did? She didn't kill it. She she took the Michael Myers uh, knife and she like stabbed it a bunch of times. And then she took it and she threw it off of a cliff. Like, that's how much she absolutely killed it in this film. 
she was incredible. And and that kid, that kid, I can't remember his name, and I and I'm too lazy to look it up. But that kid who that girl was babysitting was incredible. Oh my god, he is going places. Also, loved the finale, thought it was a, a pretty suspenseful. I loved the look of Michael Myers, he looked so gritty. I loved how over the top and um, somewhat goofy this movie was. It doesn't take itself super seriously, but it's a very, very respectful recreation of the original. Let's dive into the negatives here. Once again, that cursed first act is... <coughs> well, in the original Halloween, the first act is fine, I guess, but it's not terrible. In this, in this new installment to the series, the first act is... It's, it's pretty awful. There's lots of terrible dialogue and while there is that amazing bathroom scene that's just absolutely brutal it's it's not enough to make up for how pretty pretty unwatchable this first act is i feel like once michael myers finally gets to haddonfield and he gets to the killing like officially and the and the actual meat of the film starts happening that's when i feel like this movie really starts to kick it into high gear also once again, that just generally that cheese throughout the film is just kind of like, eh. and also it's kind of predictable. Towards the end, I could definitely tell where it was going. Maybe not exactly where it was going, but I could get enough of a drift that I was kind of like, like really, you couldn't do something a little bit more creative. But you know, despite a lot of the issues that I had with uh, this film, including that. Uh, super boring first act. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. It was fun, it was kind of scary, and whoever, whoever they got to play Michael Myers in this, I think it was a few people, they did an absolutely excellent job with this. I mean, props to them. They understood everything about Michael Myers' original physicality, the way he turned his head, the way he moved his feet. He was so heavy and yet like so light. I have no idea how they do it, but it's excellent, and I loved that. Even if it doesn't at all really live up to the expectation or the bar set by the original Halloween, it's still just a pretty fun horror movie. Oh, come on! Really? What do you mean, card full? Very strong seven. Teetering on an eight, I really want to give it an eight, but there's just that, uh, there's just a few things, man that really start to hold it back from being like a great movie, but it is very, very good. And I definitely would recommend it. And um, yeah, go see Halloween. I thought it was pretty fun. See ya.